Hey guys, so Chan Flash Gaming. This video, we're just back on some Battlefield Hardline. Sorry, I haven't had a video in a few days. We're just gonna be doing a little live com on Bank Drop. Nothing really more than that. Uh, we're using the Scar H. Um, I recently went on a trip to Cornell University to do a baseball showcase. Oh, there's guys up top. Not really gonna want to challenge them. That's actually the reason why I didn't post over the last few days, just because I was away. I didn't really prepare videos beforehand and I didn't have a PlayStation or anything to play with me while I was there. So yeah, that's pretty much why ha there's been a lack of uploads. And um, I could have uploaded yesterday, but I'm also on a new Call of Duty team. And I'm trying to like win a tournament with them. Uh, we're playing a tournament tonight and I'm on a better COD team, I think. I don't know. I think they're a better COD team. And uh, we're gonna try to win this tournament tonight. If we do win, I probably will post that on my channel. Um, but, um, unless it's a tournament win, I'm not really willing to post an Infinite Warfare video on my channel. So, yeah. But, uh, ooh. And soon after this, I gotta go to Mandarin class, which I have online after school. Because I just got back from school. And I have that in 22 minutes, so we're gonna try to make this a relatively quick live commentary. We're actually using the Scar H, because in my recent stream, when I was using subscriber loadouts, all this weapon was so fun. Oh, I actually, I absolutely love this weapon. I forgot how much I like it. Um, a lot of it is just nostalgia from Battlefield 4, because it was one of my favorite guns in that game. Um, and I don't think, like, it obviously kills faster in this game. But in Battlefield 4, is like one of the only, um, like, three hit kill guns. Or it actually got changed to a four hit kill once they reduced the damage. For a while, it was one of the only three hit kill guns, and that made it really unique. Whereas in Hardline, it's just another battle rifle. So it's not as unique. It's still a really awesome gun to use and pretty fun overall. Oh, we gotta keep dipping and dodging. Let's just place down that. Oh god. No, dude! <laughs> I just got ripped by those guys. Wait a minute, did my. Okay. My headset did shut off for a sec. It's one and B. I gotta try to hold this. Our team is actually losing by a decent amount, but we do have that double cap going. And now we have a neutral cap. We can keep the double cap. We should have a chance at winning. But that may not happen, so. No, dude, we got a three piece. Come on, teammates, you gotta clear those guys out. Oh. I'm gonna try to get some more subscriber loadout videos. I'm probably going to do best guns in the mechanic class soon. And then I'll do best guns. Uh, best guns in the professional class or sniper class. But other than that content, I'm probably just going to keep posting live commentaries on Hardline. Really nothing else in particular to do. Yeah, and I think I'm... I don't know. I might start posting COD World War II. Like, as my... Like, side by side with Hardline. Because, you know, there's only so much Hardline content I can do for, like, the next two years right until the next Battlefield game comes out. Hopefully it's a good game. I'm not trying to get another Battlefield 1. But you know I think it's a decent game. I think Battlefield 1 is a good game but it's not like it's great. I know I just don't have as much wow like I got being I just don't have as much fun on Battlefield 1 as I do on Hardline. Honestly so I just want another fun Battlefield game. And uh, hopefully we can get that the next Battlefield. But until then I might just do some COD World War II because I'm honestly getting pretty, getting pretty high on competitive COD, and I'd like to be able to post the game that I play. I do play COD a lot because the competitive, because Battlefield really just doesn't have the competitive that Call of Duty does, like nearly, and like not even close. Call of Duty is like the most played uh, competitive. FPS for console. It's like the most competitive SP FPS for console. I know Overwatch is competitive, but the competitive for that game is all on PC, so. And I'm not very good with the mouse and keyboard. Okay. Get back here. Oh no. We just got double nated. Need to reload in. Dude, why am I so. Why am I challenging that, man? 
It's got a nice three piece. Could have just dipped away with my life, but I challenged it. That's something I like to talk about a lot. Is that's one of the biggest things in shooters and development of players. Is I tend to be a really aggressive player, whether it's battlefield or COD. I'm always trying to play the objective and be super aggressive. Obviously, except when I snipe. But when I snipe, I sort of just take that as an entirely different gameplay style. Um, but it's just like so, examples like that, um, where if a guy's shooting at you, you don't immediately turn around and try to kill him. You just kind of run away, let the situation kind of digress, and then try to uh, take him out. Because a lot of the time, oh my gosh, is this guy not going to die, dude? Thank you. A lot of the time, one of the biggest issues in like how I die is just because I challenge stupid things. Whereas like if I'm able to sort of just escape situations with my life and then challenge it on my terms, it's usually a lot more favorable. And that's one of the biggest things is just knowing when to back off and knowing when to keep challenging because knowing when to just play your life and uh, not take the kills is really big. And it, you see that with most competitive players, whether it's competitive hardline when I watch, I know some of you guys play competitive hardline and I watch some of your videos. I recognize that you guys do that. Oh my gosh, where is that guy from? Okay, I'm gonna, oh God. Give me, give me some health, give me some health. I'm not trying to, I don't think, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he gave me any health. Oh, that guy dropped down. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we got a lucky headshot on him. Take some ammo, buddy. Okay, are there any enemies? Oh my gosh, got a lucky headshot on him too. And we just capped it. And there's a med kit. Let's go, baby. Heal up a little bit. Gonna nade into that room. Now we're okay. Are the enemies up here? No, he's probably right behind me, standing on the platform. Yeah, shouldn't have stood there for so long. Oh, yo, we tied the game up. Dang, let's go, baby. We almost got a triple cap going. We we were actually down by a lot before. I'm pretty surprised that we were actually able to come back. Okay. Okay. There are enemies everywhere. Let's just... No! Teammate! My <laughs> teammate just freaking... Finesse me. Cancel. Hey, I'm trying to get a nade in there because there, I know there's so many enemies. Is that going to open? Whatever, I'll just need that. Okay, I hit him. Wait, there are literally enemies everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now, bro. Okay, let's just keep. Oh. Dude, I'm so weak. I don't know whose laser sight that is, but I'm not liking it. Um, where are the enemies? Yes, they're on B. Okay, that guy just got incinerated. Where are all the? Oh, okay, that's where they are, and they're at the end of that hallway. I'm gonna have to finesse real quick. Oh my gosh, that was filthy. Nice little three piece right there. Let's pop reload in. Like, see, I probably just should have left that enemy away because I knew he was there. He just melted me. Should let my teammates run in first. I know a lot of this probably just sounds like useless rambling. I haven't really got to a nice, concise point yet, but. I don't know. I find that talking, especially in live commentaries, is generally better than just then you guys randomly watch the gameplay. I like to talk as much as I can. And uh, usually when I get home from school and I'm pretty high energy, I have a lot to talk about. So it kind of works out. Oh my god, that was brutal. And he's challenging! See, that's an example where he just made a dumbass challenge. But he got lucky because I was throwing a nade, which I shouldn't have because he was one shot. 
the heck was that foul guy? Yeah, I'm really not trying to take C right now. We only just need to take back B. We're actually about to win, so. There we go, boys. I know that was a quick video. 33 and 13. Kind of just want to give you a rundown of the situation that's going on. Um, I should have some more videos coming out soon, especially on this weekend. I'll be able to get caught up on videos, but I was gone all weekend, which is usually when I make videos, um, and I just have a bunch of homework and stuff and baseball, and it's just hard to make videos during the week. So I usually do make like three or four during the weekend and post those during the week, but again, couldn't do that because I was gone. So hopefully you guys do forgive me for that, but don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here, but that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.